Today I want to give you a quick demo on VO editing. This will be part one. Part two will be VO processing where I show you how I use EQ and compression to optimize the VO for the mix. All right, let's get started with the editing. So we have some basic VO tracks here in our session. This actually happens to be David Duchovny who recorded this trailer for the documentary film Veselka. So we're fortunate today to have some good voiceover to work with. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solo these tracks so I can hear them alone. I wanna hear very clearly what the tone is doing. So in some cases, you might have to fill the room tone between clips of voiceover. This would be if you have noisy room tone and you're going to hear dropouts when you go from clip to clip. In most cases, if the voiceover was professionally recorded in a studio, you won't need to do that. Jason Bird. So in general, breaths should be taken out of voiceover. Now there are exceptions, and there's also styles of programs where you might leave some breaths or you might take some out. If we are doing a straight up clean up, we're generally gonna take the breaths out. Occasionally I leave them in if they're very small and smooth, but generally at the beginning and end of every sentence or phrase, we take them out. So I'm gonna cut that off. Put a quick crossfade. By the way, I like to put crossfades everywhere just to make sure that I don't get any pops or clicks. And I like to trim things pretty tight. And you can see that there is a little bit of a blip there. So let me hear that, soloing that track. Yeah, so we're not gonna need that. We can cut that off. And I can see that this was edited in. And grandfather. So really we just want and. And grandfather. And grandfather. So I think that seems to be the best frame. I wanna do a one frame fade in. And then just to make sure these sound smooth, I'm gonna match those crossfades to make sure there's no tiny drop in that moment. And then let's hear the end of this. For him. And so there's no reason really to keep any of that. We can cut it tight and put a fade here. All right, if both of these tracks are soloed, we can now hear this little stretch of VO. Jason Burchard has a hunger to feed people, like his father, Tom, and grandfather before him. So I did hear a little mouth noise right here. Let me play that for you. To feed people, like his father. It's just a little bump and you can actually see that blip in the waveform. Probably just don't need this. If we cut this out, let's see if that's better. Jason Burchard has a hunger to feed people, like his father, Tom, and grandfather before him. And I don't detect any drop out of the tone here, so I think we're safe to not have to fill that with room tone. And you will notice as well that this is broken out on two tracks because they have inserted words from different takes. So to make that as smooth as possible, we can put it on a separate track. That'll allow us also to maybe adjust the volume to match very precisely, but I'm gonna crossfade it in. And sometimes you might even need to EQ differently if the take was recorded at a much different time in the day to get these two things to match as perfectly as possible. So that's why we really want them to be on separate tracks if they are inserted like that. Now I haven't applied the EQ and compression yet, so the voiceover is not sounding as good as I would like, but we're gonna do that in part two. So we'll keep moving. Continuing with the same idea. Again, apply small crossfades just to smooth things out, cut the tail off. Let's see how we're doing. He opened it as a newsstand, but he turned it into a forum to help Ukraine. Nice and clean, no breaths, no clicks. So that's basically it. A quick version, just to show you how we clean up. I will sometimes use mouth declick or declick to get rid of clicks if I really hear them and I'm not automatically just cutting them out by getting rid of the heads and the tails, which was basically what happened in this case. All right, there's a quick demo of VO editing. Now go ahead and take a look at part two if you're interested and I'll show you how I use the EQ and compression to really optimize the sound of the voiceover.